In this video we are going to do a gel fill on extremely outgrow nails with overfiled sidewalls. Simple cute pink Christmas nail art and I will share a story about the client who left a weird review about me as a nail tech and would love to hear your opinion about this. Coming up! Hello guys, Anastasia here. Recently I caught some cold, so my voice is going to sound a little weird throughout the video. This is my client for today, her nails are very outgrown. And once again, ladies, please do not do this to your own nails. It's not only about the look, but it is also bad for your natural nails. Once you hit the nail, you may damage it and the product simply is not going to adhere. This is not an overlay, by the way, this is gel extensions, hard gel. So if we take a look on the side view, we will also notice that some sidewalls are overfiled, which means we are going to fix that with the product. As for the structure, I would say it is rather good. Nails look kind of flat, but they're very outgrown. So when they were short, I think this was okay. I'm going to start by filing off the excess product underneath the nail. By the way, some nails are growing downwards, so once we get rid of this product, they are going to look straight. Also, on some nails, the product is on the lower level compared to the natural nail. We need to fix that as well, otherwise this client may experience cracks on the sides and the nails may break. Today's story time is about the client who later became my model. As I was getting ready for the competition, I always need many hand models to practice on. And for some reason, I couldn't find enough people back then, so I was very desperate about it because I needed to practice. So I started posting it everywhere, on the social media, like a few times a day that I'm looking for hand models. They need to pay $4 and then I'm going to do pink and white. I was doing so-called competition nails. This is pink and white acrylic, very long nails, and they're super thin, like paper thin. So these nails are not going to last. But if you file them shorter, which I did for each model, then they turn into regular salon nails that are going to last like three to four weeks as usual. If someone didn't like pink and white, then I also offered to use any color on top and the nails are simply going to turn into square shaped nails with the color on top. One girl scheduled an appointment with me as the model and then it turns out that she knows me already. She used to do a service with me as a regular client about a year ago. And she said she was so happy for this opportunity because she did two services with me a long time ago. She was very happy about them. She liked the nails so much. But then she was experiencing some financial problems, so she just couldn't uh, do this again. And she was so glad when she saw this ad, because this is such a great opportunity for just $4 to get a great nails from you. She also said that she would be happy with any length, shape and design I'm going to do to her, because she knows that I'm professional and the nails are going to look great anyways. Once you hear something like that, you obviously get very confident and do not worry. I usually set the timer for about one hour and a half because this is how long the competition lasts and then I need to do these extensions within this time. Once I finished with the extensions, I told her that now we have a few options. I can file them shorter and then they're going to turn into shorter pink and white nails that are going to last. Or we can also use any color that she chooses and apply it on top. And she said, well, honestly, I do a lot of cleaning at home and I think these nails are going to be too long for me. So let's file them like super short, like as short as possible. Every time we turn long nails into super short, you probably know what's going to happen. They're going to become extremely thick and there's going to be an extra work of filing the thickness and the sidewalls. Well, I said, okay, if that's what you like, let's do it. And I filed them like super short. She looks at them and says, oh, I don't really like the corners. Honestly, I hate square shape. Can we just smooth out the corners and turn it into oval shape? 
Meanwhile, I took off the product and this is what most sidewalls look like. I just realized if I'm going to fix this overfiled sidewalls, I will need to do it on 10 nails. So we decided that a better way to fix that will be reshaping the nails. So we decided to reshape them into almond shape. But unlike this client with the natural nails with a thin layer of product on the top, that model who was my former client, who asked to reshape her nails, were asking for something that is not exactly possible. Well, I told her, sure, I can reshape them into anything, but since we filed them short from the long nails, they're going to look flat and white once I reshape them into almond shape. So if you do not like sharp corners, I can slightly smooth them out so you will have a soft square shape. And the model says, yeah, whatever, just reshape them into oval shape. I just will not be able to do anything with this kind of square nails. And I did. And as I predicted, they started to look weird. They were just super flat because this is what happens. Once you create a long nails and you pinch them in a certain way, they have this C curve. But as you file them shorter, the seeker starts to flatten as it goes closer to the nail. So they looked really flat and white. However, I tried to fix that by filing the sidewalls, filing off some product on the top. So this changing of the shape took me another extra hour, which means I didn't have a break until the next client anymore. Well, anyways, I really wanted her to be happy about her nails. She didn't say anything, but I could tell that she wasn't happy about the result either. Um, I guess she didn't say anything because she realized that it was her who insisted on reshaping the nails, regardless of the fact that I warned her, like it's not going to look good. If you're a nail tech too, or if you're working with the clients, I think you can understand my feeling. Like I felt really bad about the fact that I couldn't do anything to make her nails look better. But on the other hand, she insisted on that, so I couldn't change anything either. Anyway, some time passed and I almost forgot about the story. I think it was two or maybe more months after that. And then accidentally I found these nails on the forum. So there was some kind of women forum and there was the thread where women were showing their nails and other people were sharing their opinion about it. I found a thread where I see these nails that I did to her. I'm not going to lie, this was probably one of the worst angles for the nails you can ever imagine. They were also a bit outgrown at the time and she just took a picture of them and she didn't really say anything good or bad about me, but she shared that, hey, I did these nails with Anastasia, what do you guys think? She never mentioned that she did these nails as the model or that she paid four dollars. She just shared the picture and asked for their opinion. And most of the comments and opinion obviously were negative. Most people said, well, they look kind of wide or what's wrong with the shape? I don't think you should come back to this nail technician ever, girl. Like, it's really bad. Obviously, I felt very bad and kind of tricked about it. Like, I thought, oh my God, why didn't she ever share the picture of the nails when she did with me when she was my client? Like, this is a completely different story. On the other hand, it wasn't really a bad review. I mean, she didn't say anything bad about the work or about the fact that she didn't like these nails. She just shared them and that's it. I have no idea why she did that. Maybe that's the way I see it and her intention was just pure and she really wanted to share her beautiful nails with the world so everyone can see them. Maybe it was on purpose or maybe it was some other crazy reason that we will never know, such as she was going to become a nail technician and wanted to figure out which mistakes were done to these nails. By the way, this nail is badly overfiled on the side, so we are going to fix it with polygel. I applied the hydrator, non-acid primer, then I build up the missing corner with the polygel, try to do it as smooth as possible, cure in LED for 60 seconds, take off a sticky layer and do slight buffing and shaping. And now no one can tell that this nail was ever broken. At this point, I proceed to hard gel overlay and a pink Christmas design. By the way, this client has beautiful natural nails, but take a look at these white spots. She definitely should not have her extensions for such a long time. 
three, four weeks tops. First layer is the hydrator and let dry, then I apply non-acid primer only on the free edge and a thin coat of the base coat. I would love to hear your opinions about this story because honestly I just didn't know how to react because like I said she didn't say anything bad about me or my work but on the other side I felt kind of betrayed because she never mentioned that she was the model and being a model for a nail technician who's training for the competition is a totally different thing. What did I do about this situation back then? Nothing. I never contacted her because I didn't really know what I'm going to tell her. If she would schedule another appointment with me, then I will definitely ask her about this issue, but she never did. A lesson that I learned after this situation, it doesn't matter whether you're working with a client, with a model, with anyone, at the end, your work should look perfect and flawless all the time. And once you follow this rule, you will never get in this kind of situation. Meanwhile, I'm doing a hard gel overlay. I try to do it as smooth as possible because I'm not going to file that. And this is what we have. I take off this sticky layer, which is not necessary, by the way, but my client touched her sweater a little bit. So we need to get rid of this fuzz. And then I start with a color overlay. We decided to go with a not so traditional color for the Christmas, which is pink. So we are going to have a pastel pink on a few nails. One nail in the center, the middle one, will be covered with a glitter pink. By the way, you can recreate this design using any colors at all. Just pick any pastel shade and any glitter shades that are going to match with each other. Now we have the background and on a pinky, I'm going to do an ombre. Some glitter gels are clear based, so there is just clear gel and a glitter in it. But some glitter gels already have a color in them, just like this one, which means it is going to be perfect for an ombre. I apply some glitter near the cuticle and then with the ombre brush I blend the color. On the next nail I'm going to do a silhouette of the head of elk. Let me know if this is the right way to call this animal. snowflake on the glitter nail using a white gel paint. By the way, if you're using a gel paint that you are going to seal with a top coat later, it is better to use the one with a sticky layer. Then I cure it all and seal with a top coat and no wipe top coat. And then I'm going to use a different kind of gel paint which is a no wipe white gel paint on the top. I will add more snowflakes to the glitter nail as well as the dots. We will also need some details to finish up the elk's head, which will be the nose and the eyes. And I'm also going to decorate this Christmas tree decoration with the lines. And then I will cure it again in LED for 30 seconds and the design is finished. This one is very simple, so I have no doubts that you guys can recreate it. And if you will, please tag me because I love to see your works. Do not forget to like this video and subscribe if you enjoyed it. Happy holidays, guys, and I will see you in my next one. Goodbye.